it has been a while since we last did this kind of like get ready with me makeup video so i'm going to be doing that in today's video but i want it to be very calming very aesthetic <laughs> very peaceful but also very detailed at the same time now this is typically yeah <laughs> this is typically my i want to call it like my everyday makeup tutorial this is what i do whenever i want to film so i'm going to be showing you guys it's very minimal you don't have to focus on the product i'm using just focus on the steps and the techniques as well so my face is like pretty much clean I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's also dry. So we are going to start off with the skin care. Skin care is so important when it comes to doing your makeup. I'm gonna go in with my toner. I love using a cutting pad. I don't know why, I just feel like it works for me. Something I learned about makeup is that you don't have to, I mean, products are important. The type of products, the brand of the products, they are, they are important but you need to focus more on the technique because again you can always make you work and i'm using the bolden skin brightening toner so in case i don't show you guys what product i'm using i'll try to write it down here or up here so you guys can see but i'm just going to apply this on my face so we can start with the hydration process so i'm going to go in with a serum and i love this because it has hyaluronic acid i'm going to just saturate this on my face when it comes to like skincare you want to start off with the products that have like the lightest consistency and then work your way up to products that have like a thicker consistency next up i'm going to be using this and guys i love to lather this on my face i go in with about like four sometimes five pumps i just rub this in and just apply this onto my face so next up i'm gonna go in with my moisturizer and this one again is from bolden it does have spf in it because you do want to be protecting your skin okay i'm loving how my face is looking i'm just going to go in with the last moisturizer just to further hydrate my skin i feel like my moisturizers are the best primer i don't know it's just how i've been doing my makeup so i hardly get oily and my moisturizer just does the it doubles as a primer as well I'm gonna go ahead to moisturize my lips and I'm gonna be using the Vaseline Lip Therapy. I love this. I feel like it just does the job and it keeps my lips hydrated and it's super inexpensive, it's budget friendly. Now that I have prepped my skin, we are looking glowy, moisturized, hydrated. I'm gonna go in with my foundation and i typically use the maybelline fits me in the shade 365 i'm going to be using my juvia's place foundation brush i first of all like to apply the foundation on the outer corner of my face And for my foundation, I'm literally just stippling it on my skin. So next up, I'm going to go in with my foundation stick. This one is from Juvia's Place and it's in the shade Katsina, right? I'm going to be using this to lightly contour and chisel out my face so that way we can bring back the dimension and the shape and form of my face we're adding depth we're adding shape we're adding form to our face because again the foundation made our face looks um one dimensional and it's not so we're just going to bring that back in here right there that is even too much actually Put that here like so and just blend it in I'm still using the same foundation brush guys if you're doing makeup 
you don't need to use a million and one tools right you can use maybe one or two and then make it work I'm just going to blend it upwards and blend everything together right I'm also pushing it in to my hairline a little bit so that way I don't see any demarcations right we want everything to flow seamlessly so for my nose contour I'm gonna take that same contour stick guys this is a foundation stick you don't want to use a lot because with the contour on your nose you want it to look like a shadow and not a harsh line so I'm gonna start off from my brows and just work my way down the bridge of my nose like so again we are creating depth and shadow so this is what we're looking like now that we have sort of given our nose a little bit of structure I'm going to blend it in but before I do that I'm going to use my highlight guys so I'm going to be using the concealer that we applied on the back of our palm and I'm just going to apply that on areas that I want to highlight So before I go in to blend this out, I'm also going to use a lighter shade of concealer and just drop that right here at the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to be applying my blush while this is kind of drying down because I like my concealer to be a little bit tacky. I want it to dry down so that way I have a lot of coverage on the areas that I had applied it with the brush that way it just sticks to my face and then all I have to do is just smoothing it out with my beauty sponge as opposed to like lifting it up and then moving it around when it hasn't dried yet so that's what I'd like to do so while this is drying and settling into my skin I'm gonna go in with my blush this one is from Fenty Beauty in the shade strawberry drip I'm just going to take that blush and apply that just above the contour or the bronzing that we just did. Okay, so this is what we are looking like right now. I feel like the concealer has definitely dried down a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge and start blending in. I usually start off with the areas that have less product, so like my chin, on my forehead the bridge of my nose right so guys it hardly lifted any product because the product has already dried down yeah going in with a brush to kind of spread out and blend out the concealer before using your beauty sponge definitely helps if you want to achieve like a full coverage i'm literally not even doing anything i'm just like trying to blend it out and without even applying or doing too much look at how the forehead and the chin are looking right now like it has blended out and i love it so i'm just going to blend this into the foundation okay so for underneath my eyes i usually start off by blending the outer corner first and again i'm being very light-handed with this okay so this is what we are looking like lastly i'm gonna just blend this highlight area right here so to set the areas that i had highlighted i'm gonna go in with this this puff is a game changer like it, it just makes your like your face flawless it gives like a very flawless um finish so i'm just going to go in with my beauty sponge just one more time and guys for setting under my eyes 
I've started using pressed powder because I don't know if it's me. I find that they give a, a smoother, blurred out, fine finish. I don't know if you guys can, can see my, my under eye. Can you see that? Can you see how smooth it's looking? Can you see how just blurred out is looking? It's looking so perfect. There are no patches, no, it doesn't look too cakey. It's just the right amount. And that is why honestly I'm loving, I've been loving using pressed powder. It just gives like a fine finish. Kind of mixing those two shades to set the highlights. And this is in the shade, I think 01 and 02, right? I'm just going to set middle of my face so i'm just pressing it in and see how flawless it is looking so i'm gonna go over my brows because i'm gonna be drawing my brows pretty soon and i want to take off i want to kind of mattify so that way the pencil glides smoothly on it going in with my foundation brush i'm going to just lightly marry the foundation the contour and the blush that we applied just lightly so i'm gonna lightly set my face and i'm gonna use this shade right here i'm not using a lot just a little bit to just set the foundation the areas that we didn't just set i'm gonna be using my powder brush to do that lightly doing this because i still want my face to breathe contour has sort of like disappeared so I'm gonna quickly just put it back in um, I'm gonna draw my brows right now I'm gonna be using a brow pencil for that I like my brows to look natural and feathered like it is right now. I went ahead to laminate my brows, guys. I have a video on that. I'll leave the link on here so you guys can check it out. But this is what my face is looking like. I feel like I need to come closer. Let me come a little bit closer. Come closer. Come closer. So I'm going to brush my brows upwards following the direction of my natural brows. I'm gonna just trace my brows, all right? So we're just trying to keep it really light. And this is what my brows are looking like, guys. I'm gonna fill it in using hair-like strokes as well. I'm just gonna pull this up. Still looks amazing after a couple of years. So that's what I, I want it to look natural. So this is what my brows are looking like. So do the same thing on the other side. and i am loving it so i'm going to be using this elf brow lift i'm going to be using this to kind of lift and set my brows i'm not applying too much i'm just applying enough and if i ever need more i'm going to go back into you know that and that's the thing with makeup with makeup you never want to like go heavy handed with it you always want to start off bare minimum and then build your way if you feel like you need it to be built but this is what my brows are looking like for the purpose of this video we are going to be defining our brows today right so i have a little bit of concealer on the back of my palm i'm going to be using a flat brush i'm going to take a little bit of that concealer on both sides of the brush right and then i'm going to gently start kind of cleaning it out even honestly look at my brows there's nothing to clean so let's call it highlight i'm gonna highlight my brows i'm just i don't want to use a lot of product so i'm gonna just put that found um, concealer on my lids and then start working it into the arc of my brows
God, I haven't done this in a while, but it's still it's still giving. Ignore what it's looking like right now. I'm still going to like blend it out. Now that we are done with that, I'm going to use my concealer brush to just blend everything all in. I'm gonna go in to set down that concealer on my lids. Okay, so for my crease, I'm gonna be using, actually I'm gonna be using um, powder for my eyes because I find that they are usually very beautiful and they blend out smoothly in my opinion anyways I'm gonna go in with this shade first of all and then dip in it with this darker shade so let me just walk that first off the excess product and we're pushing it in to the brows as well and we're taking that down the bridge of the nose I don't know if you guys can see So I'm going to take the darker shade and use that just right on my crease right here just to intensify that brown a little bit. Mm. So using that same brown, I'm going to just kind of apply this on the lower lash line. Just smoke it out a little bit. So I'm going to go in with a lighter powder shade, this shade over here. I'm going to use that to open up my lids just on the inner corner and on my lids as well. The beautiful about powder. Going in with the same brush we use on our crease, I'm just going to clean it up so that way we don't have any harsh lines. So what I want to do is to further highlight my face. I'm going to be using the same shade, highlight, further snatch my face, just a little bit of it. Apply that on the bridge of my nose, like so. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty um, highlight, just highlight the high point of my cheeks like so gonna use my fingers to precisely apply this What I'm going to do is to take a little bit of this highlight, right? Just a little bit and just stamp it on my lids, like so. Mm, this is just too beautiful. So guys, I did this complete eye look without eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead to line my waterline with the black liner. Next up, I'm gonna be using my Fenty full frontal mascara just to add volume on my bottom lash so 
So I'm gonna line my lip with a brown lip liner. So the last thing I wanna do is to use a liquid highlighter, right? I'm gonna take my beauty sponge, just a little bit of it, and then apply that on to my cheeks, just for that wet, beautiful, seamless glow, like you're seeing right here. I'm gonna do the same thing and apply that just for this seamless glow right here. I'm going to use a nude lipstick. I'm going to take that clear gloss and apply that on my lip. Beautiful. Mm. Can we see that? Stunning. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to set my entire face with my body fix. I want to drench my face with this. This is the complete look. You cannot tell me anything. You cannot tell me this is not giving you.